And now it's time for another Booze and News beer review. So, um, yes, yeah. this is what we're going to do. This is going to be the only pumpkin beer we're going to do on the show all year. I'm not really a huge pumpkin beer guy. Um, I can. It's going to be good. Um, but this one I wanted to do, this one in particular, because it's a pumpkin stout. And if you're going to do a pumpkin beer, you might as well do a pumpkin stout. So, uh, Black Lantern, really cool looking can. Um, oh, it's, it's worth mentioning it's 6.66 alcohol by volume. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got, some inf- I got some info on this, actually. Let me pull that up. Um, will you read the, the can and see what it says on there, if there's any description or anything? Um, it tastes like chocolate pumpkin velvety, but it tastes like cardboard to me. Um, <laughs> what, all those things together just tastes like cardboard. What kind of madman would cross an imperial stout with a pumpkin ale? Or brewers. As it turns out, this rich chocolatey Franken brew is dry, spiced, and scary good. Boo. That's all they say. All right. This is good, man. I don't want to finish this. Uh, six, but dude, how about that? Six point six 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 six. Black, yeah. Black o' lantern. You know, you know, like point six five or something like that. No, like, we can go with calling. No, you gotta go with six six six, man. Especially when it's black, you know. Got to have that beast. So thirty. Uh, what's weird is that their website says it's thirty-one IBUs, but on the can, it says fourteen IBUs. Isn't that weird? Yeah. You know this. Uh, this it tastes like pumpkin, but what they don't say is like it's it's like raw pumpkin. Have you ever had like have you ever bitten mm-hmm. like a jack? Uh, no, but I've had raw pumpkin before. It's very bitter. Mm-hmm. It's not good. Yeah, well, see, I'm not a huge fan of the pumpkin beers, man. Some people really go nuts for them. Um, I do like pumpkin this, pot. I do like this you know? this brewery though. This is uh, where are they? Wasatch, Wasatch is, I believe, um, is it Oregon? Ooh, they have a beer called a Polygamy Porter. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> Them. Does it say? Fuck on, them. Does it say? <laughs> fuck them. Does it fuck. say? Does it say on there where uh, where this is from? Uh, it does say it has a really I mean, high I'm SRM sure rating, eighty-seven point five. They gotta have a mailing address so I can send this back to them. So I can send this shit back. Take your pumpkin beer. Um, all right. Well, I don't know. This where... is weird. It doesn't say. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't say where the brewery is located. All right, well, Usually me... it says. Let me, let me I guess they don't have people tracking them down. Right. You would hate to have to go to the brewery. Oh, figures. Mormons don't know how to brew beer. Are they Mormons? They're from Salt Lake City, Utah. That's a big big Mormon uh, capital out there, bud. Oh, did it say, did it say uh, Salt Lake on there? I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, Salt Lake City, Utah. Interesting. See, Wasatch is... Uh, um. That sounds like really indigenous. Yeah, Salt Lake City. I thought Salt Lake City also had really weird like restrictions on the amount of ABV that they could put in beer, but I guess not anymore. Maybe that was back in the day. It's only I think it might only be for a local consumption. Mm. Oklahoma, something similar. I was with uh, Keith Ray, met him. We were doing a show out in Oklahoma, and it was impossible to get a beer that was like over a certain percentage. Dude, look how like black that. it is. It's like really, really opaque. Yeah. Um. But it tastes like the thing is it tastes like bitter pumpkin, which is not like super good. No, it's not good. It's like pumpkin pie is good, mm-hmm. like pumpkin spice maybe or something like you that. You know what this tastes like to me? It tastes like if you had um, a pumpkin pie, but you didn't put any sugar in it. Yeah, but it has a bitter bite to it, which makes me make you have one right? You have one with you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it makes I'm me drinking it yeah. like. It makes me think of just like scooping out, like making up, you make a jack o' lantern and then uh, just like trying to eat the leftover scooped out stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, it, as far as some other, other, now I would say there are some redeeming qualities for this beer. It has pretty good carbonation level, I think. Um, Like, like the mouth feels really nice. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Actually, yeah. I think this would be it, like I always try to find a stout that I like with ice cream because one of the things that I like to do in the summer, I don't really drink a lot of stouts in the summer, but I like to have occasionally in the summer a beer float, 
right? So I'll, yeah. I'll take a really dark if, stout and put some <laughs> vanilla ice cream in it. This if would you were to do this or add something, add this to something with sugar, it would be very yeah. Very, so I think this would make a really interesting like beer float yeah. because it would have like that pumpkin flavor and all yeah. that. But, it's it's got that umami flavor, mm-hmm. I guess. Say you, you like that, but um, you know, I'm gonna have to go ahead and I don't know, we're gonna give this a rating. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give this a fairly low rating. I think I'm gonna give it about a a six. You know what, man? Um, the most important thing is that it gets you it gets you drunk, and this is six point six six. You know, it's got me buzzed. That's, and, why, that's uh, why I got to give it a six because six point six six six. It's just the number. It's the number of the beast, baby. And it, this is, you know, I am buzzed, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a one. Give it a one. <laughs> oh wow! So not good. Not good. Thanks for watching. Catch us every Wednesday on Twitch live at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time.